Not Yeti. Written by Kelly DiPuccio. Illustrated by Claire Keane. The world is full of monsters. Some monsters kick, some pinch, and others, like Lumpy Stinker, will hide rotten egg salad sandwiches in the back of your sock drawer. Most monsters are only interested in being right and loud and rude, but not Yeti. He crochets sweaters for penguins. He compliments the weeds as he passes them by on his morning walks. I love that little poof thing you have going on today. And when he read that humpback whales sing, la, 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 he rode his scooter to the pier just so he could sing back to them. Yet he tried to be friendly with the other monsters. He brought them warm banana bread. I find it tastes even better if you put it in your mouth instead. He made them inspirational quotes to hang on their walls. That probably wouldn't have been my first choice for a place to put it, but it looks nice. He even offered to babysit for free. Crud, he definitely won't do that again. There was a time when Yeti's behavior was downright abominable, and he acted a lot like Grimace and Itchy Bottom, and most regrettably, like Lloyd. But one day, Yeti woke up and decided he liked making things more than he liked breaking things. So he built a little library, and then a big one. He befriended bees. He told knock-knock jokes to the trees. Knock-knock. Who's there? You. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. It's Yeti again. And he rehomed his fleas. Yeti spent plenty of time alone, but he wasn't lonely. One evening when Yeti was cheering on the newly hatched baby sea turtles as they made their way to the ocean, Corpe Diem, Lloyd came thundering up behind him and kicked the sand. Mmm, those look delicious. Can I eat one or fifty? Yeti looked horrified and shook his head. He offered Lloyd a kale chip instead. Lloyd rolled his eyes and swatted the chip out of Yeti's paw. What kind of monster are you anyway? Yeti felt the hurtful sting of his words. He took a deep breath. He counted to 13, his favorite number, and then he said, nothing. Lloyd may have 16 ears, but he is a lousy listener. The following day, everyone received an invitation to the annual Monster Bash and Barbecue. Everyone, except for Yeti, that is. Was he disappointed? A little. After all, he had already made his famous seven-layer dip, the one Grimace was always so fond of wearing on her head every year. No, Yeti said, I will throw a party of my own. He made invitations, he hung paper lanterns and paper cranes from the trees, and he put on his favorite bow tie and record album. The moon was Yeti's first guest to arrive. The others soon followed. Everyone had an excellent time, especially Yeti. In the distance, Yeti could hear the riotous sounds of the monster bash and barbecue, dishes breaking, heads butting, and Lloyd shouting. So he turned up the music. Yes, it's true, the world is full of monsters. And Yeti. And Betty. Love wins. For Hannah and Rick, Love Wins, Kelly DiPuccio, to Henry and Olive, Claire Keene. This is Tiffany Morgan. We hope you have enjoyed this unabridged production of Not Yeti by Kelly DiPuccio, illustrated Claire Keene.
This program was directed by Greg Cooler. Text copyright 2021 by Kelly DiPuccio. Illustration copyright 2021 by Claire Keene. Production copyright 2021 Penguin Random House LLC. All rights reserved.